let's discuss on a topic called classification of advertisements uh, let's initially try to find out what are the different bases on which you can actually classify advertisement uh, if you look at it you can uh, you know easiest thing that might be coming to your mind would be based on the kind of media through which it is advertised you can call it something like a print media television advertisements that is one way of classifying advertising and there can be so many other ways of classifying advertisements let's look at first the basis of classifying advertisement and then we look at each base and what are the different classification under each now the basis are one you can base uh, the classification of advertisement based on the area coverage that you're expecting are you talking about uh, uh, nation national product or uh, international product or international coverage that you are looking at uh, based on that you can dis divide your or classify your advertisement the audience which you want to uh, talk to you know uh, the the uh, the type of audience which you will be uh, you know selling or targeting uh, based on that you can divide the media as i had uh, told you to start with is the print media broadcast media and so on or the function or the stage which we will go in detail area coverage as i have already told you it can be local advertising wherein you are talking about retail advertising you have a retail store in place uh, so you are giving advertisements only to people who are around the locality you are not wherein you, are, you might not be using television or newspapers you would probably be using paper slip ins or uh, or uh, you know uh, brochures or catalogs which you will be distributing among people or maybe you use posters there here and there in the in the locality so this is what you do in uh, in, in regional because you are talking about local customers who are staying within a trade area Uh, directed at local customers and then you can have regional or in a particular region which may be one state or more than one state common language who has common language culture etc then you are talking about a higher medium uh, a regional channel can be used a television channel or a regional newspaper can be used uh, to reach at these people and then you are talking about national uh, you have to look at a nationwide uh, popular media to advertise to people and then international advertising if you look at uh, popular uh, international channels you will see uh, so much of the sex push so uh, or you use a stage where you have international present like say your olympics uh, as part of uh, your olympics you can actually sell your product if uh, the coverage for your product is uh, entire globe based on audience are you talking about selling it to direct consumers yes that is one way of uh, dividing it or are you talking about industrial customers you know uh, you are talking about your b2b uh, if your customers are uh, corporates then your advertising would be totally different and then are you advertising to trade because uh, you have different channel members particularly if you look at india where the, wherein your market concentration is very low you have a spread uh uh testing you need to depend a lot on your a uh, lot on intermediaries you have wholesalers you have uh, agents you have so many people in between channel members so if you are uh, trade if you are uh, if you are basically trying to create an image among them that is a different type of advertising that is called your trade or you are looking at professional people or a, a particular set category of people as doctors uh, um, you know doctors in the place teachers in the place of so professionals you are giving a different kind of a, a advertising because they probably are experts uh, in their field so uh, you the way you communicate to them would be different so this is another way of categorizing advertisement next is based on media as you know this it can be as print media where you have newspapers where you have magazines where you have uh, uh, even yellow pages for that matter all these things comes under what is called a print media so this is another way of classifying advertisements or you talk about your electronic media as your television or 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 radio and all those things and then 
you have your outdoor media or out of house out of home marketing uh, wherein you talk about all the posters or 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 or, or all the uh, you know banners that you see in uh, moving buses or trains or lock public transportation system you you're using uh, for advertising and all those things comes under what is called your outdoor and then you have other when i say other and this other is dominating these days uh, which includes online marketing uh, wherein you give banners posters and all those things which includes interactive marketing wherein you have kind of a direct uh, uh, you know uh, direct uh, contact with customers again using online things all those things comes under what is called your other classification and then based on function now what is it what is the function of this uh, uh, this thing you, you know uh, are, what are you looking at what is your objective uh, one is direct action this is wherein you are warranting immediate response uh, like for example if you are uh, if you have a particular uh, a product which is being sold at a discount for a very low period of time uh, you want to sell it immediately so your objective of this advertisement is to not only expose the customer towards this advertisement but also to encourage him to take some kind of an action uh, it can be uh, by making a trial usage of yours or or uh, taking a test drive of your vehicle or visiting your store or anything so you want to warrant some kind of a immediate response. so this is where you use direct action and such advertisement will probably end with a, a, a website id or maybe a link which you can click and go directly and take some kind of an action or a number where you can dial and and then the person will come to you you know your executive will come to you or uh, where and he'll show you a demonstration or all, all such things there will be some kind of a warrant for an action and then there can be indirect action you are not looking at immediate action from him or direct action from him you just want to be there in his mind you just want to create a brand or a image in his mind this is what your indirect action advertising is all about and then your primary on primary attribute of the product this is normally done by by uh, uh, industry who's uh, uh, you know uh, associations in the industry uh, which is Uh, relatively new into the system which has not been there for a long time so they there is an objective for the industry as such uh, to you know uh, to communicate this to so many people i mean uh, to create awareness among potential customers on what this product is all about so uh, this will probably be done by different associations of uh, uh, sellers or brands and their objective is not to sell individual products but then create an awareness about the attribute of the product as such or it can be selective advertising wherein your specific brand the, the common thing your specific brands are coming in and saying about their brands the other the industry is coming and saying about the product as such you have product messages of product advertising and institutional product advertising wherein is wherein you are trying to give an advertising or tell speak about the attributes of a product or 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 you know you speak up she is speaking about a particular product of yours but institutional advertising is where you are actually advertising the organization as a whole and the the purpose of which is normally indirect which is kind of building an image on the thing like say your murugappa group coming in and giving an advertisement murugappa in the brand name you don't have too many things selling but then they have so many companies under them as a bsa as a uh, so many companies under them if they are giving a corporate ad it's it's not direct selling it is actually institutional advertising advertising stages advertising at pioneering stage advertising at a competitive stage and advertising at retentive stage when i say pioneering stage i'm talking about introductory stage of a of a of a uh, you know a product there uh, my purpose should be to create a lot of uh, awareness about the product so therein i will have to spend a lot of money and the way i'll advertise will be different as well how will I, how will i be basically advertising i'll be advertising speaking about the product features you know uh, i'll be trying to attract people into buying this product and so on but as i get along when i get into the second stage wherein i have a lot of competition in the industry then i might be talking about say a different set of advertising like comparing my product with a with a with a with a uh, competitor's product or or some kind of i'll also always be going in aggressively 
to uh, tell my customers that my product is superior to my competition. So comparative ads and all those things would be happening in the competitive stage. And you have retentive stage wherein you have a set of loyal customers with you. All you want to do is reinforce and retain them. Reinforce to them saying that your decision is right and you retain them. And probably the ad spend at this stage would be less. So you are using three different types of advertising at all these different stages.